Yeah, today we're gonna. This is a video about coordinate geometry for y'all kiddos out there. And um, yeah, have fun. So first, we're gonna learn about the Pythagoras theorem. And um, in the Pythagoras theorem, there is a formula which is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. As you can see, the c is always the hypotenuse, which is the longest line and it's opposite the right angle. Well, for to make it easier for you, I also have given two more formula, a few more formulas down there for your ease so that you won't really get confused and try to understand it. Now, um this is the distance or the length of a line, which is a line segment. So now, for this line, we have a formula which is the, the formula is square root x1 minus x2 in the square bracketed with a square plus y1 minus y2 with a square and all under one big beautiful square root so um here's the example as you see in this example given coordinate points a 3 4 and b 1 1 so there is asked to find the distance between a and b so, as shown, AB equals to one huge square root with 3 minus 1 square plus 4 minus 1 square, which ends up in becoming square root of 2 square plus 3 square, which is 4 plus 9, and it becomes a square root 13, and once it's done square squaring, square rooting, it's 3.6. So now for the midpoint, which is related to a straight line in some way, it's in between two points on a straight line. So, like there, there is a pit point. There's the midpoint right there, which is in between two points, and the formula is x1 plus x2 over 2, and the, for the other coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2. As it goes. So for this example, it's one point is one five, and another point is five one. So here they ask to find the midpoint, which is one plus five over two and five plus one over two, which ends up being both of them end up being three. Now for the gradient. Okay, so the gradient is um, m, which is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 or vice versa which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 an example is 0 2 and 2 4 which is y2 minus y1 Ooh, I see my handwriting over x2 minus x1 that ends up being 4 minus 2 over 2 minus 0 which goes to 2 over 2 that is equal to 1. So the gradient is 1 and we should put it in the equation of a line segment. So the equation will turn out to be y equals to x plus 2. So if you're questioning what the 2 is, the 2 is the c. The c is the y-intercept. and so it will all become y equals to x plus 2. And if you're asking what a y-intercept is, it is the point of the line that touches the y. Now, going to the next part of this topic, which is the perpendicular line. The formula of a perpendicular line is m1 times m2 equals to negative 1. So m2 is equals to negative 1 over m1. And the two lines should be perpendicular, which is 90 degrees intact. Thank you so much for listening to this very, very, very short video. And please, try your best, because this is an easy topic for someone like me who's not that good in maths. Bye-bye.